Well, I turned 70 this week. And my son got me a new dake. Annotated reference Bible. The finest Bible, in my opinion, that you can buy today. Now, I've already had plenty of dakes, so I know how to use the dake. Uh, all of my dakes have been the four-column format. But what he got me was the new three-column format. And right down here on the box is the uh, rule of Dr. Dake, the literalization of Scripture. This is a pretty good sized Bible. I didn't know how big it was until I got it and compared it with the uh, standard size 1985 Bible that I got. He also bought me this uh, Dake case. This is actually made for the large note Dake. Uh, it's very soft. I don't believe it's leather. If it is, it's a very thin leather, but I don't believe it is. I believe it's some kind of naga hide or something other like that. And this is a very heavy Bible to be carrying around in it. But anyway, the Bible is black, and the uh, uh, carrier cover is burgundy. Now, uh, the dake is a different size than any other Bible that you can find about it. So, pretty much if you want to get one that don't mess with your spine, you have to uh, uh, order it from the dake people. Amazon have got, uh, if you don't want to go to uh, dakebible.com, tender your order. Uh, Amazon.com carries them, which is where M Michael got this one. Uh, this is a very thick Bible. It's a very heavy Bible. And he got the one I said I wanted, uh... I mean, this is not a complete surprise to me. It is a surprise, but not a complete surprise because he asked me about the difference between the King James and the New King James Version because we've always used the King James. But uh, I didn't want one with the big uh, Dake name running down this way. I thought that was kind of garish, but... Uh, I'm sure he'd be all right, too, but this is the spine that I wanted. It's a pretty black bonded leather. Uh, it's a good bonded leather, though. When I say bonded leather, we think about the little pieces of leather sewn together and then... Uh, from leftover stuff. But that's not this way. This is a very good, soft, I guess the grain's pressed in, and you can see where it's glued on the inside, paste down liner. Cardboard, and then card stock. Now, I guess you could take notes on this if you want to, but I probably won't in this Bible. I've got enough Bibles where to do that in. Dake's Annotated Reference Bible. It's annotated, and then, of course, it's got uh, over 
500,000 cross and chain references in it. Contains the Old and New Testaments of the Authorized or King James Version. Put out by Date Publishing, of course. Some grandchildren's names. I know one. Copyright 1999. But the printing was August 2020 to this one. All rights reserved in the USA and other countries. You're not supposed to reproduce it. I always read the preface. Preface. When you do, you'll run across the general principle adhered to to throughout is that of literalizing instead of spiritualizing. Most Bibles that I've run across tend to spiritualize more than they literalize, but Brother Dake literalizes everything, and then when he runs across something that is totally spiritual, he looks for the literal truth it intends to convey. Symbols are the same. Prophecy, promise, command, and message from God. Uh, now this is different. In the three-column format, I've seen uh, you either got uh, an asterisk or a plus when they start the alphabet over again. Here's Genesis. Notice the first A in the notes is concerning Genesis. Show, tells you about the summary of Genesis. And then he breaks down the Bible very, very, very Deeply. Now, within this little window, you have two short columns that are inspired King James text. And then out here, where you see them little numbers and alphabet, you have notes. Come down X, Y, and Z. Right here, you end your first alph alphabet. So that started over again, and they start with the little asterisks. Then you got some pluses here. Thing I like to uh, tell everybody is the scripture is inspired of God. There's not an error in it anywhere. No matter how many people will say to you that you can prove everything by the Bible, no matter what it is, I can tell you that they're wrong if you interpret the Bible by letting it interpret itself and following the chain of every reference that's in it and compare it on any subject, like the pre-tribulation rapture. It can only be the pre-tribulation rapture uh, when you harmonize all of the scriptures. The Bible, this Bible is very thick. I'm saying that's over two inches. 
and I wouldn't doubt it weighing 12 pounds. It's got the beautiful gold edges on it right now. Got the tail bands. It's got one narrow uh, ribbon on it, black. Uh, get over here into the New Testament. Summaries are still at the end of the Bible. Books, not uh, the beginning. A lot of people uh, 